Hey, Will Snipesilly here. It is Wednesday, December 28th. Uh, we are in the AM session. Um, you can see we just uh, we just had a huge move um, higher, um, and it is uh, there is a news event today. It is um, actually no, this is just the normal opening. But anyways, um, so I'm looking here. So I am bearish. Uh, I've been bearish all week, so I'm still bearish. And since we had this huge move higher, um, I'm looking for a short. So I'm actually uh, executing on this 15 second uh, time frame. We had a we we took some buy side. We had a market structure shift, and traded up into a 15 second fair value gap. And um, you can see I have targeted. Uh, I have the fib on. I'm targeting um, not even 50 percent. So uh i just have a uh a short a short target here um i'll kind of go into what i'm working on uh once we get to the to the end of the video i'll review the actual um whole day and both trades so um we're getting some movement lower so since it was wicking right up there you know i wasn't uh too worried about it so uh, that came down and tagged me out with my uh, five handles um so what i was shooting for and it, this thing kept moving lower. Um, so we're going to the second trade. So here we are in the PM session. And um, you can see uh, we had a retracement um, over lunch. So we went and took out sell side. Um, actually, we took out two two levels of sell side. And then so we, we retraced lower. So um, at this point, I'm looking to go short. So I have a five minute fair value gap. Um, after a break in market structure on the uh, on the one minute, and so um, I'm kind of just outlining out outlining some of the uh, potential targets here. So um, I'm currently um, so it it traded up into that uh, one hour fair value gap, and um, I was basically waiting for it to uh, go. So I'm looking for this to go up, tag me in, and then continue lower. So um, I'm right at the top of that five minute or that, that five minute fair value gap, and we're right around 50%. So um, since that second, um, there was a second five minute fair value gap. So I dropped my entry there with expecting it to trade up into that second five minute fair, uh, fair value gap. So um, right here, I'm just looking for another uh, five handles. Um, like I said, I'll I'll go into that uh, here after this uh, trade trade ends. So um, it traded up into that five minute fair value gap and it was wicking, and it looks like we had a a, a five minute order block um, right there. So it it traded up into that, and we're looking for uh, a nice reaction lower. And yeah, we're trading with a uh, one, one micro here. So those are both uh, two twenty-five dollar trades. So fifty dollars for the day. All right. So here we are. Here's the day. Um, we have our nine thirty opening. So um, this is the uh, time frame that ICT executed uh, his trade in here. So um, right here at the nine thirty open. Um, overall, I'm I'm bearish for the day. So. Um, we had a session high here. We went. Uh, they went ahead and took that out um, in the morning, and then you can see here I have a four-hour fair value gap marked. Let's see where are we? There we go. So I have a uh, a four-minute fair value gap marked um, here. So we traded we traded up into that. So that's really what I was looking for. Um, and so let's go back to uh, the 15 minute. So 15 minute, and I'll go down into my uh, execution. So real quick, um, I'm doing just one contract. I'm using Caleb's model since I'm, I'm trading my funds. So I'm just trying to do uh, get a five point move either in the morning or in the afternoon, or if I can do both, I'll, I'll do that. So. Just trying to start start small. Um, my 
my bias isn't always correct. So even if I'm wrong, I, I still might be able to, to make it out with, with a win. So, um, but today I was looking for, um, a, uh, a short for both sessions and uh, I'm trying to do just two two max trades per day. I'm just shooting for 125 per week. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can consistently do that for a month um, with a max daily loss of 50 bucks. And then uh, trying to only take trades with my with my daily bias. So that's kind of what I'm what I'm working on right now um, for those that are interested. So um, the five minute chart. Um, there was a trade here where it kind of came back up into this fair value gap, but I actually executed on a 15 second um, time frame this morning. So let me pop in here and I'll show you guys this. So uh, we're actually in the middle of the day. This is what I saw. So back in that trade, um, we took out sell side. We came up, took out buy side, traded up into here. And so I was looking to go short here all, already since my my daily bias. So I ended up going short here and filled right here. Um, I think that matches up right there. So this was my trade that I framed. And then um, it actually did end up coming up, giving another opportunity uh, to take this down short again. But let's go to the let's go to the one minute. So this was over lunch right here, and so um, I was. Let's just go to the five minute real quick. So right here, um, we had an out the ball trade entry. So let me put the fib on real quick. So we traded up right in right into this H one. Fair value gap, and um, I was basically stalking this right, right around uh, thirteen thirty when trading opens back up for me again. So um, going down into so you have this five minute fair value gap here, which I you know said that this could trade back up into it, and it actually did again um, right around like two two forty five. Um, so that could have been another trade, but I was already I was already tagged out and done. So I I just was uh, it was cool to kind of see this play out, and I had you know an ultimate objective down here um, at uh, thirty eight thirteen. So um, just kind of working working my way up to being able to to hold for these long moves, but just trying to trying to build some some short term consistency with just small trades right now. So if we go down to the one minute. So right here, this came up, it traded up into this fair value gap. Um, this was actually from uh, earlier in the day. So it kind of came up to this level again. And we had, an we had an option for a trade here as it broke, pushed away, came back up. So I was kind of eyeing that. I didn't want to take the first opportunity. So when it came down and broke this swing low, created a fair value gap, it... Um, that didn't trade up into it right away. And then I just kind of kept going down. So it was, um, I think right around here is the uh, equilibrium. So um, as long as I was up within that, I took this trade on this M5 because I was super bearish and this could you know, start running, but I was willing to, I had my stop to cover if it would have came back up into this um, five minute, which I actually had like seven, I had the, my, uh, it was right here at the top of the swing high. Um, so I entered here, was willing to have it come up in, into here. So I had already accounted for that, which it actually, if I had my um, limit placed here, originally it, it probably would have tagged me in, but um, I just wanted to make sure that I was you know, gonna get this move. Um, but if I was willing to go into another trade, like this could have been, um, if I was still watching, I probably could have entered here. This would have been another valid um, option. But anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show that, that, that this trade ended up uh, going all the way down to that sell side target around uh, 38, uh, 13. 
and then it just kind of put it out for the rest of the day. But yeah, um, anyways, thanks for watching.